Uh, Mike's dead, so I'll repeat. Did the Trump election have anything of impact on prepping? Yeah, obviously it did. Jan, how much did your sales go down? Way down. Way down. Are they still down? Okay. Um, why? Well, after eight years of the previous administration, I mean, gosh, the previous administration is, is really considered to be the greatest gun salesman that ever lived. Um, I know I went out and bought a lot of stuff. And suddenly when Trump became president, a lot of people breathed a sigh of relief and went, oh, okay, things are going to get over, things are, are cooler. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Uh, how many of you have seen uh, the incredible movie, Darkest Hours, you know, about Winston Churchill? You haven't seen it. It's incredible. I, did, I saw somebody do this. I, I love the moment when Winston Churchill realizes that when he does this to the camera, it means something different in England. I love those moments when Winston caught on and would go, and for the Nazis, I say this. You know? I, wish, I wish our president would say, do something like that. Are you taping this? Put your hand over the camera for a second. You know, I just loved, I would love if, you know, cite some leader and say, by the way, here's a message from America, buddy. Uh, no, but uh, it leads to an answer. Why did I cite Darkest Out? 1938, when the English had a government that was appeasement, and by the way, appeasement, the definition of the word shifted. The appeasement had a different meaning uh, back at the beginning of the 20th century. To appease meant, in some ways, to appeal in terms of Christian values, to appease, to assuage the anger of somebody else that you can reach a point of reason. Remember Ch uh, Chamberlain, um, I bring you peace in our time. If you've ever seen the, the film recordings of him flying back to England and landing, the crowds are just going berserk, they're cheering him. The most popular song in England about three weeks later is titled, God Bless You, Mr. Chamberlain. We think you're a regular guy. All right, I love playing that for my students. It's really bad. <laughs> Everybody thought peace in our time. Eleven months later, we were at war. There was only one prophetic voice being heard in England in 1938. That was Winston Churchill. People were hollering, oh my gosh, if Winnie gets in, there's going to be a war. Well, the war comes. Winston Churchill becomes PM. The month of May 1940 was the most crucial month perhaps in the history of Western civilization. If some other people had stayed on as PM or been selected as prime minister instead, England would have gone to appeasement. It would have been over eventually for Western civilization. They would have bought time, but we know what the end result would be. Winston Churchill turns that around with, we will fight them on the beaches, we will fight them in the hills, we will fight them in the streets. We will never surrender. Yeah. The point I'm trying to make is, yes, we have a president that's standing up, but part of that standing up might very well mean we're not going to kick the can down the road any further, which means a crisis could be coming rather soon. Uh, there's a lot of hoopla right now about that little guy I just flipped off in North Korea with the bad haircut, that he was holding hands with uh, PM or President of South Korea. Everything's going to be great. Some people are already saying Trump should get the Nobel Peace Prize if he can pull it off. Do you honestly believe that that guy's going to change? That if he signs an agreement? I mean, it reminds me of a friend whose spouse had cheated on him about 10 times and every time she, said, she promised she's never going to do it again. You know, it's just like, no, there's going to be time 11, 12, 13, when are you going to wake up? How many agreements and treaties has that person broken in the last 20 years? Do you think he's going to change? I'm not holding my breath. Plus, Iran now saying, don't stand in our way regarding nuclear weapons. Genie's out of the bottle. Too many psychos have access to such weapons. I think it's inevitable.